So in the first example, when I graph my original function f of x equals x plus 2, I end up with this red line um, where the y-intercept is 2 and the slope is 1. Now to sketch the transformation, I need to take that original function and shift it up one unit. So instead of my y-intercept being here at 2, it's going to shift the whole line up 1, and I end up with a parallel line, same slope, but different y-intercept. Looking at it algebraically, if y is equal to f of x plus 1, and I'm going to substitute in for f of x my x plus 2, then y is equal to x plus 2 plus 1, or y equals x plus 3. And that is the equation of the line that I graphed, so that matches. In number 20, my um, function is going to be shifting the entire line two units to the right. So instead of my intercept being here at positive 2, I'm going to shift two units to the right, and now my intercept is at 2 comma 2. So the whole line moves over. And again, I have a parallel line. If I want to look at it algebraically, y equals f of x minus 2 means that I substitute into my function x plus 2 and x minus 2 wherever I see x. So I have x minus 2 plus 2 or y equals x plus 0, which simplifies to the diagonal line y equals x, which matches as it passes through the origin 0, 0. In the last example, I'm taking my function and multiplying it by a negative 2. The negative is going to flip the line um, over the x-axis, and the 2 is going to narrow the graph. So if I do that algebraically, y equals f of x times a negative 2, then my y is equal to x plus 2 times a negative 2. And then when I distribute to get rid of the parentheses, y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. So my new intercept is going to be at negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 down, and is going to have a slope of negative 2. So if I go up 2, I go to the left 1. Up 2, left 1, and this would be my line.